In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how to download, install, and then connect to one of the Iron Realms games using the CMUD client. All right, first thing you need to do is go to www.zugsoft.com. Once you hit the site, you'll notice a big free download button right in the middle of the site. Go ahead and click on that, and the client should begin to download instantly. Uh, for sake of time, I've actually downloaded it ahead of time, so I'm just going to save over the copy I've already got. And bang. All right, now I've actually got it saved it to my desktop, so I'm just going to close this window, and you can see that it's already sitting on my desktop here. Uh, to install it, I will double click. All right, and that's going to bring up the, uh, the program. All right, so for the wizard, I'm just going to go ahead and click Next to continue. That brings me to the license agreement, and of course I agree with the license agreement, so I'm going to click on that. I want to install all of the components, so I'm going to click on that. I want to install it into the default directory, which is great. I'm going to click on that. And I am going to go ahead and use the default user session files folder. And I do want to have the uh, start menu folder, so I'm going to click on that. So pretty much you can just click on next and next and next and it should work just fine. All right, so this looks great. So I'm going to go ahead and click on finish and I do want to start it up right away. Okay, all right. So as you can see, um, all of our games are already listed here. A couple of them are not actually going to be showing up right away and there's actually going to be a few other games on here also and I suggest deleting those right away because they're not nearly as good as Iron Realms games. Alright so let's assume for a second that we that the game that we want to play is not on here. Um, so we are going to go ahead and create a new session is what this is called. I'm going to go over here and click on this new session button. Alright now uh, the title of the game doesn't really matter. You can put whatever you want in here. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, Akea. I'm just going to call it Akea for now, all right? Even though we already have one called Akea, that's fine. Um, so it like I said, it doesn't matter what you what you put there. But I do want to connect to the game of Akea, so I'm going to type in for the host Akea.com, all right? Now, of course, I can put any of my any of the games that I want to connect in there. I could put uh, Lusternia.com, Atolia.com, Empyrean.com, or uh, MidkemiaOnline.com. In all cases, the port number for those games is 23. So it doesn't matter what game I want to connect to, if it's an Iron Realms game, it's always port 23. Don't worry about this files, folders, file name suggestion. Uh, don't, don't worry about any of that for right now. Um, if you really get into making triggers and packages and that type of stuff, that might be something you want to learn about on the um, Zugsoft website. All right, so this looks perfect. I'm not going to worry about anything else. I'm just going to click Save Changes. And as you can see right up here on the top, here is the new connection I made, Ikea. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I want to connect to that, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And bang, I have connected to Ikea. Uh, down here, I'll go ahead and type in whatever my character name is and get the whole thing going. I type in my password, but I really don't want you to see it. Um, but anyways, that is basically, in a nutshell, how to download, install, and get going right into one of the Iron Realms games using the CMUD client. Uh, I really highly suggest using uh, the CMUD client. Uh, clients, any, any kind of third-party client is, for the most part, going to offer uh, several advantages over uh, our Nexus and Flash client. Mainly, you're going to be able to save all of your settings directly on your computer. Uh, they are going to offer much more powerful settings for creating triggers and aliases. And the interface for creating and managing those settings is going to be vastly superior to the Flash and Nexus clients. At any rate, uh, hopefully that will help you out. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask on our forums.